We are on the west side of Chicago and we are approaching Mount Olive Cemetery and this is where a very famous swimmer is buried, Sybil Bauer from the 1920s and we are in. Jessica J. White was a uh, mother 1964 to 2017 says here best mom ever Ronald Jake Madrid uh, Ronald shows up as being shot, slain in 2003. I can't find out much more about it. But uh, he is remembered. We got vodka and it looks like champagne. forgotten. You know, as I walk through this this particular cemetery, we're just north of West Side Humboldt Park, some rough areas in Chicago, and I am coming across one after another after another of sh shooting victims. Uh, here's another one. Victor Damien. Victor. Victor uh, was born on September 17th, 1997, and he was gunned down on uh, March 18th, 2013. Very sad. Victor was a uh, gunman approached him from behind and uh, shot him in the head three times at point blank range. Uh, da uh, Damien here was known as King Smokes. I don't know if he was part of a gang or not, but it says young, wild, and free. So he lived a short life. That's very sad. Rest in peace, Victor. Manuel F. Nava Jr. Uh, Manuel escaped a condominium fire, which killed his girlfriend and two children. And he was in critical condition for a while, and then he uh, he died in the hospital on November third, two thousand four. Uh, this is the grave of another shooting victim. His name is Hector Badillo Jr. Hector liked cars. And uh, as such, Hector was at his dad's shop on July 2nd. 2016 and uh, he was just sitting there with other employees they're working on cars and uh, he was just outside the shop and his fiance was in the uh, SUV and someone walked out 
right from the alley right there. It was on California Avenue and uh, fired shots and uh, one of them hit Hector right in the neck. Killed him. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. What a waste. Father. He was a good father. Hangs out with his father every weekend and they like to show off their cars. Just another sad story here in Chicago. Gun violence. And speaking of gun violence, just right next door here, we have another victim. Uh, we have Jonathan Carlos Santiago. I'm going to try and, without stepping, well, I'll use the zoom so you can see uh, Jonathan. I don't want to step on his marker. Another one who was murdered. He is uh, with his brother, I think, here. Um, who was who died earlier in 1999 this is Carlos Santiago I don't know I didn't even know he was here and uh, it's just another case of uh, young young guys uh, in this case the guy was caught Lord Byron Mancia who ended up pleading guilty first-degree murder and it was uh, 2.45 a.m. on April 13th, 2013. And uh, Jonathan here was uh, with two friends, and they're sitting in the car smoking. And uh, several suspicious cars passed by, and they started walking towards one of their homes when Mancia and another man stepped out of a, gang a gangway and confronted them. Mancia, who was the uh, killer, allegedly said, as he started uh, shooting, he said, uh, what's up, bitch? And uh, started shooting, shot Jonathan. He got sentenced to 20 years in prison. So uh, hopefully he uh, learns his lesson. I think it should be longer. I th well, I'm not going to go into what I think. It's it's really a, a darn shame every time this happens. So we'll see what uh, happened to Carlos. Um, but the brothers are here together. So, Sybil Bauer. Sybil Bauer is not too far away from here. We'll, uh, we'll walk over there. But she was, uh, she was very well known back in the day, in the 20s. She was born September 18th, 1903. And uh, she was known for swimming. She's actually considered a legend back then, at such a young age, in her teens. She was a backstroker, and uh, she was, she was the, I think she, well, she, I know one thing, she broke the men's record by four seconds. I think it was the 400, the 400 yard uh, backstroke which is an endurance race. It's speed, well, it's speed and endurance, but it, it didn't count because it was an unsanctioned event. And, of course, any, any excuse not to uh, give a woman her due back then, right? Have some uh, outdoor crypts here. She was born here in Chicago 
and she swam for the uh, Illinois Athletic Club. And uh, it was when she was in high school she started winning all this stuff. She set 23 world records and won 11 national championships. Can you imagine? Well, she was bound for greater things. And um, it's just the, the way the way it is. She was taken way too early. I believe this is this is the family plot. Yes. This is the Bauer family plot. And Sybil is right here. 1903 to 1927. Yes, she was taken by cancer at the age of uh, at the age of 23. And uh, Sybil, Sybil is now in the uh, International Swimming Hall of Fame. So she's uh, very famous and uh, did great things. So a uh, little history here today. Let's not forget Sybil Bauer. Rest in peace.